The Pogues icon Shane McGowan has been cremated following his star-studded funeral on Friday, December 8. Hollywood actor Johnny Depp and singer-songwriter Nick Cave were amongst the famous faces to attend Shane's send-off in Nina, County Tipperary after the fairy tale of New York star passed away last month, aged 65. After the ceremony at the St. Mary of the Rosary Church, his coffin was taken via hearse to Ryan's funeral home, where it remained overnight. On Saturday, meanwhile, Pirates of the Caribbean star Johnny was one of a small number of guests who followed the vehicle in a cortege from the funeral home to Shannon Crematorium, County Clara for a private cremation. There, several songs from Shane's illustrious career were played during the intimate ceremony. There had been speculation the star's ashes were to be spread in the River Shannon. However, a source told Sunday World to the contrary, the ashes won't be given to the family until early next week. Shane's wife still has to make up her mind what exactly she will do with them. She could scatter some on the Shannon, some put in with his mother in the family grave and some and maybe put in a memorial at home. Taking to X, formerly Twitter, before the cremation, meanwhile, Shane's widow Victoria Mary Clark thanked those who had turned out on the day. God bless everyone who showed up for Shane McGowan yesterday, your time is precious and I appreciate you, she wrote. Victoria had previously revealed her late spouse hated funerals and didn't believe he was going to die. She added, Shane hated funerals and he refused to go to them with a few rare exceptions. So it's incredible to think that so many people want to come to his and that so many beautiful people are pouring their hearts and souls into making it magnificent and magical and memorable for him and for us who are left behind. I am feeling my heart bursting open in all directions with the amount of love that is being showered on us and most especially because everyone has their own problems and challenges and everyone has their own loved ones who they need to look after. He didn't want to talk about his own death. He didn't believe he was going to die ever. So it took us all by surprise because we really did believe he wasn't going to die. It was a huge shock. Shane had been blighted by illness and hospital stays in the latter years of his life, with a bout of viral encephalitis leaving him bedridden in intensive care earlier in 2023. In addition, he suffered a fall in 2015 in which he broke his pelvis, leading to worsening mobility in his final days. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. YouTube and Threads